IMPS with mobile and other few parts that is investment support services. The last product feature of mobile banking, what we left to complete was content and news. Now, content services provide news related to finance and the latest offers by your bank or financial institute. This particular feature is directly related to advertising of financial services done through mobile banking. As the mobile is in your pocket, in your hand, almost 12 plus hours of a day, and it's quite possible that you are surfing mobile for several times. You are having transactions that may be through Paytm, Google Pay, Phone Pay, UPI, or by any other means. And in this situation, certain financial services advertise may leave effect impact on your mind. The way when we are surfing uh, Google search engine uh, cookies and many types of advertises comes to us. If we are searching some home appliances. Uh, in response to search of our home appliances, uh, different uh, furniture companies that may be Gauthier or Furniture World or XYZ, their advertisement starts coming on Google screen. The same way when we are using mobile banking for our uh, transactions, financial transaction, uh, relate, relevant financial services are getting advertised as product feature. Now, Immediate payment service with mobile is a facility given to individual customers for money transfer. Either you can transfer money from your mobile to other people or vice versa, you can receive by giving your mobile number from someone else. What it is stated in first point, Immediate payment service is an interbank electronic instant mobile money transfer service, instant mobile money transfer system or instant money payment service. It can be carried out through uh, iMobile, iPhone mobile app or internet banking or through SMS. The beneficiary account, the beneficiary means who to whose account money is going to get credited. The beneficiary account is credited immediately when a fund transfer request is made through your mobile phone or internet banking. From your savings or current account, that money will go to beneficiary account. Very simple and easy to understand. This is going to save money, time and efforts or energy on account of this feature. So these all factors are relevant to uh, instant money payment services. This service is available 24 by 7 throughout the year, including Sundays and any bank holiday. <clears throat> now, physical uh, transactions done by visiting any bank branch of our home bank, it requires you to be present physically there between Monday to Friday and second or uh, first and third Saturday or second and fourth Saturday only in scheduled time. But these type of mobile payment services, one can do 24 by 7 throughout the year, including Sundays and any bank holiday. So these all factors are very much important. There was a news recently on 25th or 26th of Feb, two, three days ago, on account of financial year aid, on account of uh, festivals, of different communities. Banks are having closure or bank will remain closed for 11 calendar days. Out of 31 calendar days, 11 calendar days, banks are remaining closed. And in such situation, these mobile banking with uh, iPhone, Android are coming to great help, rescue for people. And any transaction, what we can do through cash deposit machine, ATM, internet banking, online banking, the same are the same are available with mobile. And there is a slight difference between which bank account you are operating, which bank account, uh, which bank's customer you are, 
and what all are the features they do have when we are operating through mobile banking bank to bank mobile application to mobile application it differs a lot recently i have seen bajaj finsar mobile app this app gives you information that what home appliances or what type of particular product you have purchased how many installments initially you have paid for what duration you are required to pay your remaining emis and what credit limit you are offered by bajaj finsar if you are paying your uh, emis in due course of time your offer limit from 1 lakh may go up to 1 lakh 75 from 2 lakh may go up to 3 lakh 20000 and this is at your fingertips within few seconds just by clicking few options you will come to know that with bajaj finsar app certain types of facilities are easily uh, easily available to any customer who is uh, getting credit facility from bajaj finsar so these all factors are relevant with mobile app the last point with imps as a mobile facility instant money payment service imps fund transfer facility is available through uh, internet mobile iphone mobile and internet banking you will need a seven digit mm id please remember this word mm id mobile money identifier or the account number and ifsc to transfer funds via imps the limit for an imps transaction is rupees 5 lakh for icici bank here it is very much important it depends which bank transactions you are doing for icici bank it is rupees 5 lakh it's not mandatory that for hdfc and axis bank it is uh, 5 lakh also it may be less than 5 lakh or more than 5 lakh also and they are following government mandates government uh, legislature when they are keeping this limit of rupees 5 lakh rupees 3 lakh rupees 2 lakh whatever limit they are having it now the next sub topic what is mentioned in your syllabus copy is the profitability of mobile banking i have two charts here to show you hmm now in year 2011 12 almost 10 years back and this particular chart is sourced from reserve bank of india profitability of scheduled commercial banks in india through m banking through mobile banking impact of m banking on profitability of scheduled commercial banks in india it was hardly 18.2 billion rupees in 2011-12 and from 18 remember the digits what i am putting here numbers what i am saying hmm? from 18.2 billion it has reached to 4040 4040 even if for sake of easy calculation we count or we take into count 20 billion to 4000 billion 20 is 200 times is 4000 20 is 100 times 20 is 20 times is 4000 and that's to in year 2015 16 six years ago potential of mobile banking or value of transactions through m banking was 4040 billion rupees the technological advancement rbi guidelines reduce risk may be the factors for this unprecedented growth and advancement in mobile technology what it is now available with us dear students perhaps you are not knowing once upon a time a mobile handset used to have aerial that was available as a model of alcatel or motorola only incoming and outgoing facility was available with mobile outgoing call per minute you can't even dream in your wildest imagination outgoing call per minute was 32 rupees incoming call was 16 rupees per minute you know any any idea you have for uh, how much cost it was what was the cost of mobile 
initially when came into market hmm it was 35000 rupees and what features it was having only outgoing and incoming calls so in advancement uh, as a mobile device in uh, what is uh, technology mechanization or the way it appears to be the feature what it got included in due course of time all these things also have increased profitability of mobile bank one side people are feeling less, less risky with mobile banking other side mobiles advanced versions are at uh, coming as good as one new movie is getting every friday released the way every friday one new movie is getting released every week one new version of mobile is coming i have one general knowledge question what is the latest advanced model of mobile in samsung in oppo in vivo whatever model it may be you have any idea mobile as a device is very much uh, liked by you young people what is the advanced mobile and at what cost it is available you can answer me you can hear me iPhone 12 or iPhone 13. At what rate it is available? Don't you know? Hello, Rohan, Nitesh. रुतुजा मयूरा अक्षता प्रतीक्षा मयूरी शुभधा अंकुर चैतन्य नाउ what all are the risk management and frauds relevant to mobile banking most of the mobile handsets do have our very much personal data that may be our aadhar card pan card photo permanent address current address account number ifsc code and many other similar things that we store in mobile and what risk is associated with mobile that they are very similar to any other competing device with a few k exceptions it's quite possible that people are quite friendly with handling laptop or computer but they don't have much knowledge of mobile how to operate it in spite of they are owing or carrying almost 60 to 75000 rupees mobile there are enough features mobile do have which they are not at all know how to operate them for its owner the next important thing is mobile devices have a smaller form factor and therefore are more susceptible to loss or theft mobile devices are more personal and there will be a tendency for users to use devices in a more personal and confidential way mobile devices are more personal and there will be a tendency for users to use devices in a more personal and confidential way privacy matters a lot and this is the risk associated with mobile a person will not save any information of his family of his uh, address of his id in pc or laptop but it's quite possible that he is saving it in mobile and including photos also so this is the risk what he is having when he is using mobile banking security controls and tools available 
have not matured to accommodate the constraints of limited processing power and limited battery life security controls and tools available they have not matured they have not matured to accommodate constraints of limited processing power there are certain limitations mobile do have also and it's quite possible that on account of low battery when you are performing any transaction battery goes down to zero and your transaction remains incomplete in such situation there is a chance of losing money so these all are risk management the k risk to the mobile device mobile as a device do have certain k risk malware that may be virus or the contents which can cause viral uh, virus in uh, uh, to your mobile handset your advanced mobile handset is as good as one mini computer the way a computer or laptop may caught up with virus mobile also can malicious applications certain applications in recent movement from government of india have been removed which were made in china this is their second or third attempt when almost all 400 plus apps were removed by indian government which were made in china tiktok is one of them you heard of tiktok you must be knowing it you must be uh, you must have used it hmm? so these malicious applications can corrupt your data which is required for banking transaction privacy violations relative to application collection and distribution of data so this is what once you click the button of mobile banking and proceeding with your transactions the data what you shared may go up to length and you don't know to whom it reached this may happen because of you are not doing a physical transaction wireless carrier infrastructure payments infrastructure or ecosystem vulnerabilities mean chances of sms getting viral hardware and operating system vulnerabilities what hardware or operating system you are having installed in your mobile and what quality of hardware is used in your mobile whether it is of proper material or it is made in china or made with uh, inferior quality these all factors also matters a lot the costliest mobile of apple when you are using them even for a uh, 10 to 20 minute you will come to the difference what it is having with oppo vivo or samsung and because of these all factors they are having very high quality hardware factor complex supply chain and new entrants into the mobile ecosystem if mobile is a ecosystem there are enough supply chain supply chains in the sense bankers are appointing on behalf of them certain software companies who look after m banking transactions of individual customers belong to a respective bank and these type of software companies who are working as a mediator on behalf of nationalized or private bank they are too many in the market having big saturation so this is what complex supply chain and new entrants it is possible that old entrants will be believed easily because they are surviving on honest of their sincere work they are surviving in the market honestly because of their sincere work transparency in the transactions and giving prompt service to their potential customers existing customers so these all factors matters a lot when it comes to risk which are relevant to mobile banking the next important sub topic is internet banking and it is very much familiar to all those who are corporate employees salaried persons now a days 
if a person is required to work 8 hours monday to friday even early morning he is supposed to travel 1 to 2 hours more than that in some cases and same amount of time in late evening in such situation with a stiff competition increasing in market and to survive in the existing company all the so called casual leave sick leave leave travel concession and all those things are just on paper people are stuck up with their job they don't have time they don't get time to reach physically to their nearest bank branch or home bank and in such situation when they are at their workplace they can make use of company laptop company pc or personal laptop and by having password and user id they can have transactions also even in uh, uh, salaried employees most of the uh, employees are getting sms or through internet they are getting inform that their salary got credited on so and so date even if they are spending 100 rupees they are getting inform by sms these all advanced features have saved time and internet banking is one of them internet banking also known as online banking or e banking or net banking is a facility offered by banks and financial institutes that allow customers to use banking services now what is the stated in second sentence if you would like to use internet banking services you must register for the facility while opening the account or later for that reason a individual person should be computer literate internet banking is not that user friendly the way it is uh, easy to operate atm to deposit cash through cash deposit machine or to make use of mobile for banking transaction internet banking requires certain level of computer literacy and when form while opening and saving account is filled up many of the customers who are filling up that form avoid to click for internet banking in indian market internet banking as a service is used by literate or we can say computer literate people only semi urban area rural area they depend on others help always you have to use the registered customer id and password to log into your internet banking account this is what required to operate internet banking what all are the product features of internet banking that i will discuss one by one and we will stop today i am sitting in the college premises today and i was here for one visit also so let's see what product features of internet banking we have check the account statement online you just have to put date from up to 2 it may take you from one month 15 days up to one year also whatever account statements are required that could be collected through internet banking open a fixed deposit account you can create fd or you can have fd through internet banking these all features if you want to see live please have your account saving account with option of internet banking and you will come to know what i am explaining right now pay utility bills electricity bill gas bill water bill dth recharge wifi mobile bill likewise many types of bills we can pay through internet banking with certain symbols which are easy to understand we just have to click on that and we have to make payment make merchant payments occasionally if you are buying certain home appliances fixtures furnitures or some type of electric or electronic gadgets consumer durables from 
specific merchants in your area through internet banking we can make payment of those parties transfer funds either we can transfer funds to our relatives parents brother sister family members friends or for sake of business to business transaction this internet banking transfer fund is quite safe if you are handing over 1000 rupees to one of your closest friend and he is promising you that he will give you back after 7 days or 15 in spite of his promise done orally if he refuses to give you money you don't have any legitimate support that you gave him that money when you are doing such transactions even for sake of 1000 rupees through internet banking that transfer of money is a record what you can use while fighting legal battle money amount is a separate thing 1000 or 10 lakh order for a check book when you realize that out of 20 or 25 pages checks what you used last two or only one is remaining quickly you can order for a check book of your respective bank in 4 to 7 working days you will receive at your current address buy general insurance many types of insurance we can buy from internet banking and those are bought by many customers who are living in metro cities where it is difficult for a person to believe insurance agent and for sake of achieving their target many a times insurance agents are selling certain policies which are not having much sale or benefit to the customers who are buying them recharge or pre recharge prepaid mobile or dtl this i have already informed you this is the these all are the features of internet banking they are meant for these all facilities till this point do you have any doubt i want you people to reply none of you is bothered to reply no sir till now no doubt okay perhaps you people are at your workplace at the moment or you are at home rohan you heard me i am at home okay so as i was told that uh, i can uh, discontinue by 6:30 there are uh, few additional things relevant to internet banking i will continue in tomorrow's session at 6 to 7 or little more time i will ask from uh, harshali ma'am also okay till then bye thank you sir